camper van project. I'm going to try and get this van all in for around 6,000. It's a 2,000 reg, W reg, 2.5 TDI intercooler model. And uh, this is as purchased. the windows side and rear so that saved me a job obviously had paint in the past all this just needs a mop and polish bottom in what looks to be Nardo grey Audi I would have thought again Audi alloys 18s for the wheel size on that, I think it is 18. Yeah, 225, 55, 18. All good tyres. <clears throat> There's no centre caps with this, but I've got those on order with VW centre pieces to go in the Audi sections. So hopefully that'll look good. I'm going to leave the wheels as they are. Just a couple of scuffs, nothing major, all said and done. I mean, this is as I bought it, so still stuff to do. Nice little barn door spoiler there. Original number plates, metal plates, that looks good. There are Pioneer speakers in the back there. Get onto the interior in a second. I've got some LEDs to light that up a bit. Colour coded bumpers, little bit of a scuff there I've got to do. That saved a lot of money putting those, or having those actually. Black satin roof, all in good condition. The benefit of doing all this, it's obviously covered up surface rust and stuff, but all said and done, looking at the inner sections and the rest of the body, it's not too much. That's actually one good point, reference with T4s around the windscreen, if that's completely gone. Normally everything else has good clear screen, no chips, no cracks. Again, original metal front number plate needs straightening out, straightening out a bit. I shall do that. Set in high, get that sorted. It needs some uh, maybe Phillips, Phillips Extreme bulbs in the, the lights there. This will come off, can't stand these. I think one of the best features of a T4 is the front end and that just trashes it. So it's not even in satin, it's in this. Yeah, don't like it. It's an intercooler model. So the 102 rake. All the fluid's good, everything looks good. There's two cam belt and pump timing belt changes in the history. One recently, I think it's about 222, 223,000. That's nothing on a 2.5. And the recent cam belt is, I mean, I'll get this in the listing, but it's about 218, 19, so not an issue. I'll do a full service on that. Fuel filter, air filter, pollen filter, oil, oil filter. Check all the fluids. See there. Forgot to mention the issue on purchase with this van. It was uh, listed with no reverse gear. So 
it was the usual. This will be quite familiar to anybody who's ever owned a T4. The selector bushes. You probably can't see there actually. I've put one bush in. It's just caught it enough so I can get it back to the unit. But it was an old bush, so I've picked up a new set. That's the outer. This one goes on the selector rod into this, and that one goes the other side. I think that's all good. Looks fine, so it's just these two I've got to do. So that's the... Well, I know the gears are sorted. It's got all the gears now. It's just a bit stiff, because that bush was a bit shot. So, yeah, new bushes for the selector. So, again, all good. That'll be fully serviced. Yeah, yeah. They're never an issue if you look after them. Yeah. You can see here the bottom. You probably won't see the movement actually, but the bottom bracket needs replacing. I'm going to get that done. Either the pin or the complete bracket. <coughs> Door car good there, the other side it slightly holds on carpet, the door cards. Again, headlining, that's gone. Usual place with T4s on the front there, can glue it back, but to be honest it's pointless when it gets to this point because they just get worse. So I'll either go with the, I'm thinking that this is smoke, four way stretch. I'll probably continue with that. I've done a, there's another video actually. I'll do a insert of that. So yeah, when you've got the when I've got the roof lining done there, move on to the cab. Needs a new steering wheel cover. I'm not too sure what it is underneath. They're normally gone, that's why the people put them on. Starts first turn of the key. Runs absolutely perfect, no issues there. No lights on this front of the ashtray, always missing. Industrial super glue, grease the runners, job done. All of the vents, etc., work well. MP3 radio thingy. Seats need replacing, usual places. It's beyond seat covers, it's the foam's gone. There's a hole that side. So I'll probably well I'll definitely take the seats out. <clears throat> Sell the passenger. That's to the point where somebody can recover that as few people. I think there's somebody in Telford that recover those. I'll probably go down the road of Mark One Audi TT, Alpha one five six or Saab nine five nine three leather seats. Just a case of general tidying up on this van, to be honest. It's carpet lined, pretty decent job. Feels as if there's something under there, so it's insulated. You can normally tell by dull thud on the side panels there. I'll take those off to make sure, same with the roof, insulate it if it's not. The side pieces here where they haven't gone quite up to the window, probably matte black that just for speed. Um, rulers there basically to see how far what I've got left after the bed yep so plan with this van is two seats at the front AOD alpha seats or whatever the, around the seats belt area and the bottom there carpeting roof lining the kitchen pod coming from the side there it'll include sink, gas, um, 
diesel heater. Oh, I'm going to go leisure battery, 130 watt flexible solar panel on the roof. Possibly an air vent in the centre. In fact, yes, I will. The windows fixed. I'll put an air roof vent on it as well. The floor is vinyl on a good ply base. I think I'll leave that fit it better and there will be a pine fold over bed here and a drop down table work area here so six foot fold over pine bed probably come out to 120 maybe so it'll be enough for two six foot long giving me two at the front for a kitchen pod Yeah, good looking van. Biased towards T4s to be honest. Pretty much one of my favourite vans. Problem is now the newest on the road are there's a few 2004 so they're getting on for sort of 20, 25 years old almost. Still they do make a good camper. Nice and reliable as well. That 2.5 engine is absolutely <clears throat> perfect. That with the Mercedes 312 diesel and 310s of the past. They were superb. So there there'll be a flexible solar panel. And the wires at the front there coming down into the pod at the front, kitchen pod. And uh, probably in that front section there, the roof vent. Let's get some stuff ordered.